summoner of some sort. And then he exploded. Boy, these guys are juicy. Not a one-handed or a two-handed? One-handed. Shame. Well, they're dropping all kinds of those. Dynamite. I like dynamite. Very spooky. Very Resident Evil 4 in here. Treasure trove. An ancient heart. Very nice. I never seem to have enough of those. Hey, a journal. Zarya, she's the seamstress. So I've been waiting to play this area as this guy, because I never read any of these when I'm not playing uh, the one that's being recorded. <laughs> but we got an artifact. Guardsman's Breastplate. Yeah, sure, why not? Everything's proceeding as the Blood Lord has intended. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought she was the seamstress. Oh, Mary was the seamstress. My bad. Some attack speed stuff. Oh, I lost it. Where'd it go? There we go. My year-long employment as the town's apothecary has earned me the people's trust, and I now am in the perfect position to spread our cause. And for those who refuse to listen to reason, who refuse to embrace the truth that is Cthon, my position as healer has made it an easy thing to take life without arousing suspicion. A little bit of powder from the Astrakhan nightshade root mixed in with a prescription will put anyone to sleep for hours. After that, it's a simple matter of retrieving the dissenter, and perform the required observances. With each person we return to Cathan, I carve his sigil in their flesh. For me, it is the most important step in the early stage of the draining ritual. The blood drains quickly from a slit across the carotid artery, and drains into the specially prepared oak casks that the carpenter, another blessed by the blood lord with this task, prepares for me. Not as nice as the glass vessels we have been preparing, but much easier to hide suspicion. The body is stored in a second barrel weighed down with stones and sunk into the bottom of the lake. Nearly every death over the last year has added our tribute with no suspicion falling upon us. But now, with the servants of the false gods arriving at the capital and spreading havoc across the empire, our time has finally arrived to reveal ourselves from the shadows and usher humanity to the end times. All shall receive the gift of reunification. So, this is actually good for me, because I didn't know what was going on with... See, because we've been fighting the Ethereals, right? The whole Taken thing, and that's been a big driving force for our character all the way through here. And then here again, when we were fighting the Conflagration. Then all of a sudden, it's very culty in this area. And uh, I didn't know why it got so culty, or like where these assholes came from. Because the, these are the guys that we fought way, 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 way long ago, way back here in the swamp, there was a, they have that little, uh, that little outpost across from the river. So I was like, where are these assholes coming from? Apparently they're coming from here. A note about a bathhouse? Just you try and stop me. How the hell do I get in there? There we go. Another treasure trove, or is that just a pile? Human remains! Sure. Uh, there it is. The process of collecting blood was so slow it was driving me crazy. I set up a two-tank system, then rigged the public bathhouse plumbing with a drain switch. Now we can drain the water from the tubs back into the water tank. When I flip the switch, the drain will go into the second tank, where the blood can then be stored. However, the pulley system with hooks was the crowning accomplishment. It hides out of sight when not in use, 
but when we're ready for sacrifices... Zarya has provided me with nightshade root to dissolve with the bath salts. Combined with the hot water, it should lull our guests to sleep. Then we drain the water, perform the rites, flip the switch, and collect the offerings without spilling a drop. It took some effort, but I'm proud of what I have set up. It is the first step to mass collections, and will speed up the process. I can't wait to tell the others. Oh boy, these guys are just wretched individuals. I don't mind filling them full of the spiky parts of these bones. What a jolly cavalcade of assholes. Hey, a shrine. Sweet. What you got? Oh, you got blowed up by Gregory. That's what you got. Hey, you know why I'm trying to loot? Shits. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, it's Zarya the Carver. Oh, she exploded. Unfortunate. Eh. Difficult to loot. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, yeah, those look nice. Something roaring at me. I've been informed by messengers of the Blood Lord that the preparation for the resurrection of the Necropolis has begun. Why is there a Necropolis? Our time to seize the town is now. The sheriff and his peacekeepers will be dealt with first. With them gone, the remaining civilians will fall in line with our doctrines or be harvested for the ritual. I've already dispatched my loyal bloodsworn to barricade the Darkvale gates, trapping the refugees inside. They will all fuel the ritual in due time. Once news of this reaches the Black Legion, we will have to be prepared for a counter-assault. I will personally see to converting the frightened and misguided who remain in Darkvale. If they will not join our cause, then they can dance at the end of a rope and be drained as encouragement to those who have yet to choose. They must all learn that there is no place safer than under the guidance of the Blood Lord. They must come to understand that there is no peace to be found in the lands to the south. Only in the warm embrace of Cathan will we truly be where we belong. Well, doesn't that just sound cozy? So we have made it to the Dark Vale Gate. Bags, do I have three bags? This place seems kind of mazy. when I summon the Wraith on him. I thought I saw a chest in here. It's not. Oh, there it is. Ah. I guess we're not going that way. Go get him, spirit. Aw. Aw. He got pulled back over. Tragedy. Um, yeah, but I found this gun, DCL. It gives me a bunch of cold and vitality damage, and pet vitality damage, and it has a hunger wave. And, uh, yeah. And then I put silver bullets in it just to be an asshole. And also because I knew that the end of the game is all these damn demons. Really, I mean, attacking is so passe when you have Bone Harvest. It's one of those, why did they give me other skills kind of skills. This is the most Diablo-ass place we've been to yet. Well, I guess other than the uh, undead ruins thing. Thought I might find a note. 
Bone Harvest does look good. One of my favorite abilities. Beats the hell out of the Essence Drain crap. There's a thing. I want that. I found a book! We get to read and learn more about what the hell's going on. Stop that. Blood for Cathan, you say? Well, if you insist. I try to console them. I tell them everything will be alright. Their eyes go wide with fear as I find the spot between the ribs and push the blade in. They always cry, and it makes me a little sad. They do not yet understand. I watch the blood as it flows down their naked legs and into the large basin I have placed below their suspended form. Cathan calls for every drop. To ensure I get it all, I begin by making shallow cuts. First the legs, then the torso, and lastly the arms. Slowly their struggle rescinds as they accept their fate. At last they find understanding. The blood is not theirs. They are only holding it for another. And now it must be returned to Cathan, to whom it rightly belongs. At last, their fear is peeled away, as they are happy to give their blood freely. De devoted servant of Cathan, Beller Hind. Well, he sounds like a happy guy who enjoys his work. dynamite. Pick up the dynamite. Here we go. That skill's not ready. By the time I get all my buffs activated, everything's dead. Oh, normal mode. Take a lot. This place is awfully convoluted for being a gate. belt doing? Uh, life stealer, no, no. When hit by melee attack. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, anything else in here worth getting? Get a non-believer? The, the Crimson Camerlengo? What are you doing? Get him, Wraith. He exploded. <laughs> okay. 
the next floor. Oh. I didn't realize this was a place where guys would come from. The skeletons going for a. Uh, one and three. Why not page two? Oh, there they are. We've been on the run for what feels like weeks now. The ethereals are always on our heels, spreading like wildfire across the countryside. The children are starving. The few bites of food we manage to exchange on the go aren't enough for all four of us. I'm not sure how much more of this we can take. Word on the road is that the cult of Cathan is accepting members. Uh, that they have food and shelter for all. I've always pictured them as heretical lunatics howling at the moon as they bathe in blood. But the promises of safety may be too much to pass on. Thalon cringes at the thought of being seen among the blood sworn, but we agree that it may be a necessary evil in order to survive. Our children deserve to eat. Oh, I do have all three notes. Life among the Blood Sworn has required some changes to our little family, mainly that we can only see the children after the day's rituals and chores are finished, which usually lasts late into the evening. Some days I don't see them at all until they're already asleep. My husband's having a difficult time with the prayers. He calls them blasphemous filth, but I remind him that we're doing this for our family's survival. Myself, I cannot help but question the gods, who have given us nothing except poverty. But here, under the protection of Cathan, we are safe and fed. The Bloodsworn have given us everything they had promised and more. All they ask in return is our devotion and a little bit of blood. So I can't help myself when I chant a little louder each morning as I sing my praises to Cathan. The cuts from the ritual knife serve as a gentle reminder that we are still alive and not rotting out in the wilderness. It feels good. By Cathan, it feels good. Mm hmm. All begins and ends with Cathan. I can see that now. My family suffering, the poverty we've endured, those are all symptoms of our separation from Cathan. The Bloodsworn have shown me the way to salvation. I've prayed long and hard at the altar, poured my lifeblood onto the stones until the answers came to me. The only way my family can truly be safe is to be reunited with Cathan. I've made the necessary arrangements and the sacrifice will proceed at dawn. Sounds like she made the right decision. Become one with the giant spaghetti monster. Don't sacrifice yourself to crazy cults, kids. It may seem cool. And even if everyone's doing it... Hey, Shepard's Call is getting stronger. What are we looking at now? 72% to all damage and retaliation damage, which we don't have, but whatever. That would be a nice thing to get. If I had something that provided an area of effect retaliation damage. That would be acceptable. Because if it gave all my pets retaliation damage, and then there are other perks that would make their retaliation damage go up higher. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I have a point, and we need to put that in the hawk. Yay. Jesus, Gregory. He's up, bud. Some for the rest of us, you farty bastard. him. 
let me know how that works out for you. Ooh, that's not the right way. I haven't lost a skeleton in a while. I'd say the new devotions are working out well. I just noticed I have three wizards. That's silly. I guess they do fire damage, but I guarantee I'm gonna get those guys. This looks like a promising room. Come on, bring it! Bring it, you Nancys! A Chthonian blood demon. Is that it? Everybody, come on, guys! Hit me! Hit me in the jimmy! <laughs> Uh, let's see... Where are you? Melee weapon. Even with all the default weapon attacks. Lifestealer Nova. Eh. I really have room for another skill. Spectral mining wasn't the worst thing. So I call the grave, make all my pets do more damage, and regenerate more health. Eh. Need something that makes the cooldown less. It's 24 second recharge and a 10 second duration. It's kind of a bummer. This would be a good one to have. It's gonna be damage absorption. And whenever I take damage, it reflects back on whoever I'm reflecting it to. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep making Gregory stronger. What's this do? Oh, terrify. Yeah, not great. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do what I want. Let's wraith better. Attack damage is ridiculous, though, but I have to summon the Wraith. Gregory, we have all the time. Gives him another 2,000 hit points. Uh, debuff. That gives him a lot of acid and poison damage. Oh, that's why this does acid and poison damage. That's right. Yeah, let's do that. So whenever Gregory farts on people, it's more vicious and disgusting than ever. Cool. Onward! I see another boss. I can't open that. I'll drop a portal here in case I die. Something stupid. Ooh, heavy metal music. Karaz, the sigil of Kathar. Okay. Oh, he turned into a big gribbly thing. Ooh, look at him. Yeah, the silver bullets took kind of a chunk out of him. Well, that was a boss. Oh, goodness, look at his pinata. My inventory is full. Oh, no, I can't pick up the bassinet of protection. Ooh. Looks neat. Oh. Doesn't seem very good. We have Karaz's tomb, the final sermon, the end of times. Bloodsworn supplicants of Cathan, it's with great purpose that we gather here today for what will be my final sermon to you. You have devoted yourselves completely, forsaking all past relations, earthly possessions, and free will. You have proven that you are finally ready to become part of a greater whole, to receive the glorious gift of reunification. Good lord. Windy bastard. I must remain behind with the others to finish our great work. Yet even as you depart your lives, 
You will advance this broken world one step closer to the end time. The time when the dismal suffering world will become reunited with Cathan, making the oldest of the old whole again, and righting the great wrong perpetrated millennia ago by the false gods. These upstart gods, who manipulated the course of our existence, set themselves up to be the objects of worship and have lived off our blood and toil for ages. The end time will also bring doom to the wayward ethereals, past agents of the false gods, who were betrayed and then cast into the stormless ether once their purpose had been served. They had hindered us, slaughtered our brethren, and tried to claim dominance over this world. Yet we must also thank them, for it is the ethereals who have unwittingly made possible our ascension by destroying the Empire and its Inquisition. No longer does the Inquisition hunt us, suppress our truths, or deny us access to our sacred places. Unshackled from the strictures of the Empire, people have awakened from the false dream of civilization, and our ranks have swelled. Not knowing the history of our world, the ethereals are ignorant of the doom that we will awaken. They cannot surmise our end game, and once they realize what they have set in motion, it will be too late for them to stop us. Our most devoted brethren march with legions of the void for Necropolis. They need only prevent our enemies from breaching our final line, for even as they attack our forces, the blood they spill will feed our resurrection ritual. Where once we suffered our greatest defeat, our ultimate triumph shall be reborn, and the Logorian, forerunner of the end time, will carry the thousand screaming voices of Khan into the world and usher in a new age. Thinks highly of himself, doesn't he? Uh, looks like there's a bunch of loot in here. And I guess we can go sell real quick. Boop. Uh, let's go check in with uh, Creed. He probably wants to know what we did. Creed! Oh, was that not the guy I was looking for? Oh, yeah, return to Captain Somer in Homestead. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Mm, yeah. Good, good looking out there, guys. Maybe we'll go play in the desert. I don't know. Ashes of Malmoth is kind of a bitter suck fest of an expansion. Why do you have such a grim look on your face? <gasps> what she, happened she out there? almost said the name of the game. Karaz lies dead, but I found some disturbing information on him. Let's see. I'll be damned. If the bastards pull this off, we may as well slit our own throats. This scenario was well beyond my pay grade, or would be if I were getting paid. You will need to bring this to Creed's attention immediately. The Inquisitor? I've already informed Creed of your recent actions. He is most eager to speak with you. Show him what you've shown me. He needs to see this. Who is the Inquisitor? Inquisitor Creed is one of Irulan's chief exterminators of the occult and the strange. Incidentally, he was outside the capital during the fall as he was tracking down just how deep the ethereal corruption ran. Creed has played a critical role in the Legion's activities after the Grim Dawn, coordinating assaults and providing insight on the enemy. How does he know so much about the ethereals? He has it on good authority. Now stop it with the questions and go speak to him immediately. I like asking questions. I'm a chuckle fuck at heart. Uh, the time to rescue. The fate awaiting those prisoners was indeed a... <laughs> I thought I was supposed to talk to you. Questions? No, that's... Huh. What now? Oh, I didn't accept the quest. I've already Herder. I will speak to Creed. You're here. Good. He has a pretty red sword. To discuss. Now I found these notes on Karaz. I've heard of this ritual. It has been performed only once before. Me. The results were, shall we say, not good. The cult must not. Pressing matters to the north require our attention. We could use your help. Will you join us with the cultist ranks scattered? We can once again reconnect with the main legion force to the north. And just in time, too. Based on the information you've brought back from Karos, we need to immediately send all available forces to the necropolis and stop that ritual. Algrim and I will be leaving shortly with a small contingent of troops. 
Will you meet us at Fort Icon? It lies just beyond the Astakarn Mountains, through the Dark Vale Gates. Come see what's left of my wares. Okay. We're back. I sorted out the inventory. I switched back to Hysteria, which lets me summon the Crab Spirit, because it'll give my uh, pets more attack speed, which is, with as many pets as I have, that's pretty great. And it gives them more health, and the Crab is also very beefy, and does cold and vitality damage, so it'll get buffed up by my Aura of Death thing. And then we also got a Spite Wraith Girdle while I was doing something. And it means whenever I get hit by something, uh, in melee, uh, for five meters around me, everything takes 700 damage and freezes for two seconds. And it makes my, uh, Wraith stronger, which is just wonderful. It's one of my favorite items. I have one on my, uh, Ritualist, which is my Necromancer Shaman. Oh, I have to actually... I have to actually teleport there properly, or else I'll lose my gate, and then I have to walk all through that dungeon again, and that would suck. That's the one thing about getting used to the uh, quick teleport thing. Huh, neat.